What updates are coming to Instagram shopping from this July and what do you have to do now to get approved for this feature? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to grow online and make money with a small audience. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested in that type of content and let's get going with the video. So in today's video I'm going to let you know how you can enable Instagram product tagging for your shop, for your business, so you can sell product on Instagram and Facebook. But in today's video I'm going to talk about the updates that they brought to the feature and what you need to have now in order to be able to get this feature approved on your account. These things that I'm going to mention are not hard to achieve but you really need to pay attention to them if you want this feature on your account and you want it to work and not get denied. So I'm going to attach the screenshots here as I'm talking about them and I'm also going to leave the link down below where you can read all of these requirements and get a little bit more information yourself as well. As always, the link for my Instagram management services and the link to my Instagram product tagging enabling service is down below. So if you're interested in working with me, make sure to go to my website and fill out the form in there. Now, the first update that they say for this feature now is that you need to comply with their policies. This wasn't missing in the other requirements back then, but what they updated about it is that now, if you don't comply with their commerce policies and all the merchant terms, and I'm going to link everything down below so you can read what you're allowed to sell on Instagram, what you're not allowed to sell on Instagram. But if you don't comply with those terms, you might not only not have access to this feature, but you will lose access to your Instagram account, to selling on Facebook, to selling on Instagram, and your account might also be disabled. So you need to really read these carefully and make sure that you and your business comply with these policies and everything stands okay with their rules. Next, this is a requirement that they've touched on a lot more now than before and that is that it needs to represent your business and your domain. So the products that you're trying to tag on Instagram need to represent a domain that you own. So they must contain product listings that are available to check out on your own website. And they also have a new tool, a domain verification tool that might help you to get approved. So link for that is down below as well and a lot more info. But basically what they are saying is that you need to own the domain that you're selling the products from. So affiliate marketing on Instagram shopping, I don't think it will be an option anymore and they can certainly just make you lose the access to Instagram shopping even if you have it already because they changed those rules. So. Be sure you understand that this might happen if you're using Instagram shopping to sell affiliate links or to sell products that lead to affiliate links. But this is what they have changed and that is that you need to have a domain that you own and that is similar to the products on your Instagram shop. So the products that you have on your Instagram shop must be directly related to your website that you sell those products on. So it must be clearly seen that you own that domain and that the website that you have linked in your Instagram account is also the website that people can go and purchase your products from. Next, they asked that your Instagram account is in a supported market. So your Facebook page or Instagram account must be in a supported market and they list the supported markets there. So you will have the links down below to check those out. And they also mentioned that checkout on Instagram is only available in the US and a few other selected markets. Now, the next thing that they really added in here that wasn't there before, but I talked to you about in a bunch of my videos, I told you this is what they're looking for, is that your Instagram account demonstrates trustworthiness. Let me just read to you what they are saying. Your Facebook account and page or Instagram professional account must have demonstrated trustworthiness, including through an authentic established presence. This may also include maintaining a sufficient follower base. So your account might not be approved if you only have five followers and no posts. That doesn't work now either. Your account might not be approved if you only have three posts. Your account might not be approved if you don't demonstrate trustworthiness. What does that mean? I believe they just mean you don't establish yourself as a business on Facebook or Instagram. So with a Facebook page, I don't think that rule of just creating a brand new Facebook page is going to work now because they want to see that people follow you, that people 
are engaging with your content and that your business is a trustworthy business that people shop from, that people engage with. So this is something you must really keep in mind before applying for Instagram tagging or before reapplying for Instagram tagging you need to establish a presence on your Instagram account, engage with your followers, engage with your customers, create a Facebook page for your business and invite your friends to like it. Post daily on that Facebook page before trying to apply for this feature. Because this is something that they're looking at right now. They want to approve accounts for Instagram shopping that are trustworthy and that people actually shop from and that actually are active on Facebook and Instagram. The next one is that they must provide accurate information and follow best practices. So what does that mean? I've talked about it before in my other videos is that the price on your website must be the same as on your Instagram shop or the catalog you are creating. So it must not mislead your customers to bad information or to wrong information on your website. It must just follow best practices and not give out misleading information. For example, if you add a product to your catalog and the price is $5 but on your website is $10, that will tell Instagram that you're trying to get people to your website because they saw a cheaper price on Instagram but when they get to the website the price is a lot higher. They don't go for that, they don't accept that. So add the exact price, don't try and pull these things they will not work and you will risk losing access to Instagram shopping but also losing your Instagram account. And another thing that they really want for you to do is that your refund and your return policies will be clearly displayed on your website, on your Instagram account and on your Facebook page. On your website you must have a legal page for that. That is mandatory but if you didn't know that now you need it as well so you can get this feature on Instagram. And then at the end of these declarations, they mentioned that the failure to respect these terms that they've come up with may get you to lose access to Facebook commerce, which includes Facebook pages, live shopping, Instagram shopping, uh, Facebook marketplace and all of that. So be sure that you actually put in effort into your Instagram account, into your Facebook page and you try and demonstrate that you're a trustworthy business and that your clients can purchase from you trustingly and you will not mislead them into any wrong information. If you want me to help you with building your Instagram account monthly, I have a monthly management pack that I offer on my website, link is down below, and I can really help you build that Instagram account that your clients want to purchase from and that your clients trust. So if you want us to work together, make sure you click that link and fill out the form so you can get in contact with me or if you have any other questions you can leave them in the comments or send me an email at lydias at incomingsuccess.com So this is pretty much it. These are the updates that they've made to Instagram shopping. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget that on this channel we talk about Instagram marketing, Pinterest marketing and YouTube marketing for business and how to actually make money even with a small audience and how to grow as a small creator. So if you're interested in all of that, again, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and comment down below what do you think of these new updates? Do you think they're helpful to the Instagram shopping community or not? Thank you again for being here and I hope to see you in my next video.